I'm Meg Holden and I'm an Associate Professor of Urban Studies and Geography at Simon Fraser University. And so I teach graduate courses and undergraduate courses in cities, environment, urban planning and policy, and sustainability assessment systems. What I study is the city as it meets the environment. So we know that Canada back in the early part of the 20th century went through a, a massive demographic transition in which we switched from primarily agrarian people, people down on the farm, to people who were moving to the cities for opportunity. And now, globally, we've reached a point where not just in the developed countries of the world, but in the developing countries of the world as well, that big shift is happening. So as people move to the cities, and now more than half the world's population lives in the cities and will do so for the foreseeable future, we have to think differently about what urban life means economically, environmentally, uh, socially and culturally, and politically. The interesting thing is that I, I was an environmentalist as an undergraduate student, and I knew that I wanted to, to use my career in order to help promote environmental values. But, as a young person, I was also really interested in the city. And I can remember talking to my academic advisor about uh, how to study environmental issues in the city. And his response, this was in the late 90s, was, well, you should study Central Park. Study the park. But what I wanted to do was study how nature interacts with urban processes and with the city outside of parks and the, the everyday life of people uh, the way that they choose to get around, the, the way that they choose to live, uh, the kinds of um, homes and neighborhoods that they choose to live in and their habits and behaviors and how they depend upon nature, they depend upon clean air, clean water, they depend upon a stable climate, um, they depend upon uh, ecosystem services, the way in which um, nature provides us with stuff that we need, even though it's largely invisible, including energy. 